Hi, Music Bear here. Um, I'm going to talk about um, these uh, controllers up here because on uh, YouTube I had a question of how to um, automate uh, the, uh, the tempo and the time signature. Well, automating the tempo um, is um, kind of uh, well, w I would say um, not very interesting because um, it's not really going to influence the the, the music that you change uh, the tempo. Uh, that's just influencing how fast the playhead will move over the uh, the 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 piece of music, the the, the notes, the note events uh, here in um, uh, in song editor. Um, so it will just sound the same, um, but we can take a look at um, how to do it anyway, because if if I um, I want to automate the, the 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 tempo. I just do like any other co uh, controller. I point to it and I hold control on my keyboard and I drag it down here and I drop it there into an automation track, right? So here I have a automation for the tempo. And I can then um well I should also mention that this will of course be 140 because I took 140 and drag it in right so if I then decides that about not opened it shouldn't uh, about here I would have um, 160 then I just change this here to 160 and then I drag that in there now when it moves, you would see here that it's when it starts, it will take this um, in, uh, this setting here and put it back to 140, and then when it comes here, it will go back to 160. Now I just let it roll. There's no sound on it, so I just have to let me roll like like that. So I'm rolling. See 140. And then it meets the next block, 160. So that's an automation of uh, the, the the tempo, um, but it's it's not really uh, of 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 any use as far as I can see. It's a different story when we come to the time signature because, so as you can see, the time signature that is in two parts, and. Uh, not just t telling how to um, to automate time signature, but actually also talking a little bit about what does time signature uh, mean? What is these four four? Um, what is it, and 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 how does it look when um, we um, uh, when we manipulate this? I'm dropping in a standard triple O C. Uh, perhaps just change a couple of, so it's not that boring to listen to. So like something like this. Uh, this was outside, but I just put in some uh, shapes and took it down a notch, so it's not so loud. Then I'm gonna close it. Um, let's take a look at the piano roll. See here we have four four, and what does that mean? Well, we can take here and put in a note that is one fourth in length. Okay, so I'm putting in here one, one, two, three, and four. There's room for four notes of four. Those are called ticks. 
and a block of this size here that I'm showing you here, or we could say I'm it on that is um, the beat. So I have four beats. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, and I have four ticks in each of these beats. One, yeah, I'm still having, I have to go back to that guy there now. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, four. If I change this here, whoops, um, to five, I will have five beats to four ticks. Five beats, five. And I still have one, two, three, four ticks. So that is the time signature, what, do, what it means. It says how many uh, uh, beats there will be and in how many of uh, uh, these beats will be divided in the so-called ticks. And of course, the whole thing here, from there to there, is a bar. Also see here, it's called first and second and third and so on. But why is it important? Well, it's important because in the music, you will try to make a structure that depends on the bar system. And it's of course different if you have five beats to the bar than if you had f uh, four beats to the so a bit uh, four beats to the bar. You see now something is outside here. Yes, of course it is because now we have the uh, beat divider line at four beats, right? So that part is outside when I have four beats. So the structure of the music will change when you change the ti time signature. It is not going to change these guys, the notes. They're just being what they are. But suppose we had a piece of music where we said that at every end of the bar that is and every time we came here to the third tick we want to have the note going off like this right every time we we, we came to to the end of of the bar we would have that structure because that will give us some kind of um, uh, repetitive that um, it's 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 pleasant for the ear. You you s uh, hear that a lot in, uh, in in music. Perhaps not at every bar, but then perhaps at bar four and eight and twelve and so on, that you have a reoccurring theme in the notes. But of course, if I change to five fourth then that event uh, sequence will come later. It will come here. So I will listen to more of the verse, so to say, before I came to the structure that is going to be something that the ear says, oh yeah, I recognize that, that's nice. So that's actually what the time signature does to your music, it changes the positions of uh, where uh, recognizable parts of the music uh, occurs. And with that we came to the actual question how to automate it. And it's just like any other uh, automation. Here I want to have two different automation tracks because I want to have um, the. Let's, let's put it back to four. Uh, also, yes. Also, you'll see a stretching 
in in uh, uh, in uh, uh, song editor depending on what time signature you use because of uh, which we saw that the 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 length of the bar change uh, in um, in um, uh, in uh, piano roll so when we go to uh, again here uh, see the length of the bar change right so when we go to the um, uh, to the song editor that will of course also uh, be e uh, expressed here in song editor but let's go back to the four um, uh, uh, four or four and I'll just drag the top four into here and I'll drag the bottom four into there um, and then I'll change no that's, that's not very uh, enlightening let's, let's do it like this so then I'd say five here and I put that there and I still I'll keep to the four like that and when it starts now the time signature will go back to 4-4 four, four, and when it comes to this part here it will change to 5-4 and accordingly would the music and accordingly would the the, the spacing in the uh, piano roll so uh, let's, let's roll it and see what happens and keep your eyes on here and there that was horrible and the playhead moves and then it hits this guy here and it changes so there's there's nothing really in automation of of this uh, that that's out of the LMS box uh, but in elements the the thing is that uh, or not in elements but in music the thing is that um, I'll get a completely different expression in the music I'm writing when I have a different time signature. Like if if I go crazy and say I have uh, seven fourth, and we look into here, you can see it's there's much longer uh, uh, before I get to uh, because now I have seven beats with four ticks right um, three quarters five quarters four quarters are pretty um, uh, normal time signature but you can make the time signature you like um, but uh, it's it's fast getting silly uh, and you really have to think about what are the benefits um, am I doing something that's uh, um, and is this really necessary um, but I hope this answers not only the question how can I automate uh, the, the tempi and the time signature but also kind of e explained what is a time signature what is a bar what is a beat and what is the ticks and that's all I have for this time so uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye